Hello. This audio file is about the overlap of Utterkin, vampirism, and magic. In the last two years, there was a chemical weapons attack at Midwest Fairfest 2014. This was reported on the news locally in the Chicago area and elsewhere. I, having been at that con, have a decent awareness of the furry fandom. However, there are more obscure things which are connected with the furry fandom. More hidden things. There can be a constellation of related cultures, such as vampires or the other kin, which can be defined as, quote, those who believe that they are mentally, spiritually, or physically other than human, end quote. I attempted to acquire more first-hand experience in the form of audio interviews with other kin at a vampire meetup which was open to other kin and related groups. I did find a interesting amount of information there. Hi. Sorry. Sorry. No problem. Now, uh, you're, you, are, you are Brandon and you're a side vamp, correct? Correct. Okay. Um, have, you, ha have you ever been, have you ever ha been involved with the furry fandom? Uh, I have not, no. Okay. I'm familiar with it. I know people within it, but I personally have never really looked into it too much to actually be yeah. interested in it. Mm. Have you, uh, from your limited knowledge, have you have you have you been involved with like have you have you felt a sense of affinity with them or or comradeship with the furry with the furry fandom or? Uh, actually, like I said, I have nothing against them, but no, not really. You've never been there. All right, right. I don't know too much about them to really associate myself with them. All right. Has it has it has it ever have you ever had like an awakening period or like as in realizing I'm a side thing? Yeah. Well, since I was 13, I've been a practitioner of the left hand path. I've pretty much been in everything from paganism, from Satanism, Luciferianism, Olima. And basically, uh, I was in an organization which, in which my friend was a high ranking official of a vampire organization and introduced me to it. Mm -hmm. And I found it beneficial in using uh, psychic vampirism occasionally to benefit in the working of ritual and astral travel. Yeah. You, you mentioned the you mentioned the left hand pad. Uh, are you referring to Alexa Crowley? Uh, not specifically, but uh, yes, he's included within that. Okay. And then can you can you can you tell me a, a little bit more about what what the left hand path is? The left hand path, the right hand path would be considered Christianity, Judaism, Islam, or you worshiping God, the left hand path is worshiping yourself like a spiritual journey like yeah. Buddhism, Satanism, Luciferianism, Salima, mm -hmm. everything that kind of worships yourself. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. You would say that Buddhism and, and, and Satanism are similar and that you worship yourself? Or is it in one way or another, okay. not really. They're kind of far apart with yeah. that kind of group. Yeah. And you're referring to Levian state Satanism, correct? Uh, both, both sides. Oh, mm -hmm. what is the, the other side? Uh, there's uh, the issue. The preceding person at, at the interview also mentioned other things, things which I was not able to mention in the available recording. For example. He refers to several of the pagan groups in the Chicago metropolitan area. He mentions most of these groups have a short lifespan due to things ranging from personality disputes to adoption.